All right, I'm ready. I'm pumped. Let's do this. All right, anytime. Launching now. 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 Son of a. experiencing these symptoms, you may be like thousands of other KSPers who are suffering from either a lack of thrust or morbid rocket obesity. Uh, today I'd like to introduce um, my new series with Guzzworks KSP Lessons, uh, where we're going to go over some of the basics of the game, teach you a little bit about how to do it, um, and that's pretty much it. The first part of the KSP Lessons videos will be the fast, quick way of making it work for you, and assistance, um, thrust to weight ratio, how to get your rockets off the ground on Kerbin. There's one basic rule to know about thrust to weight ratio, getting your rockets off the ground. Your engine thrust has to be the rocket's total mass and uh, the celestial body's gravity you're on, in this case Kerbin's, to get there. And here's how you do it. This is a quick four-step process. First off, uh, build your payload. Once you want to get into space, do whatever you want to do it. You know, whatever is going to be moving around out there. Second, add the fuel to give it the delta V and necessary to do it. Think about what kind of ISP you're going to need for that. Third, multiply the ship's total mass by 9.81, which is Kerbin's gravitational acceleration on, on you. Um, this is the number you're going to be. Total ship mass times 9.81. Okay. Buy it. Lastly, Pick an engine or engines whose max thrust add up to greater than that number, the total mass times 9.81. Don't forget to include the rocket's engines as part of that mass in the end of it. You have to figure that in. Essentially, if you divide your total thrust by the ship's total mass and also by 9.81, you will get your thrust to weight ratio. If it's greater than one, you'll accelerate off the ground. If it's not, will not get off the ground. Very simple mass. Thrust divided by mass and 9.81. It's greater than ground one, you'll get off Kerbin. Um, that's it. Okay, with that in mind, let's look at a couple quick examples, and if you don't want any more advanced stuff, be on your way. This ship has those stats, um, and uh, with that, it's not gonna get off the ground. Thrust rate ratio is 0.11. It's not enough to get it up. And essentially what this means is that the uh, thrust of the, the engine is not enough to beat the force of gravity down on the ship. So you need a bigger engine or less mass, or both, one or the other. Now, this ship is, uh, is capable. Look at its stats. With 1.025, it's over 1 with a thrust rate, rate, weight ratio. So, as you see, it's lifting off. However, in its liftoff, you see it's a little slow. You can tell it's, it's only just making it. That is indicative of a very low thrust to weight ratio. The thrust compared to the weight, aka mass times acceleration of gravity, is low. And thus it accelerates poorly. And in this final example, you'll note it accelerates really fast. The thrust to weight ratio is 2.74 way over the one that is needed. Um, 50 kilonewton engine compared to the mass times gravity. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's, it it's, the proof is in what it does. It accelerates much faster um, and can definitely get you where you want to go in comparison. And then it's just about adding the right amount of fuel um, and balancing everything. Um, so I hope the basic video has been uh, informative. As a last ditch, just take a look at this uh, equation here. Learn it, know it, love it. It's going to get your ships off the ground. As always, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all next time.
Every single time I sit 